Digital Information and Communication Technology presents Educational Satellite Television Programs. Teacher, hello, students. Welcome to today's lesson on fermentation. We have been studying the stages of the aerobic respiration of glucose in our previous lessons. In our last lesson, we learned about the electron transport system. The electron transport chain couples electron transfers between an electron donor, such as NADH, and an electron acceptor, such as oxygen molecules, to transfer hydrogen ions across a membrane. This results in the production of chemical energy, ATP. By studying the electron transport system in cellular respiration, we also learned how electrons are transferred and ATP is formed. In today's lesson, we will be learning about fermentation we will describe the process of both alcoholic and lactic acid fermentation. Are you ready to start, students? Let us begin. Fermentation is defined as the process of deriving energy from the oxidation of organic compounds such as carbohydrates, and using an electron acceptor from within the cell as the organic compound. The process of fermentation is important in anaerobic conditions. Students, for our first activity, can you please Describe the difference between aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration with the classmate sitting beside you. You may begin now. Students, let's get ready. Begin.
Time's up! Let's get back to our lesson. Hello again, everyone. I hope you were all able to come to the same conclusions. In aerobic respiration, the presence of oxygen is required. In anaerobic respiration, the presence of oxygen is not required. In fermentation, ATP is directly synthesized from phosphorylated intermediates of compounds. This happens without the involvement of an electron transport chain. Since there is no external electron acceptor in fermentation, cells have to produce their own electron acceptor to maintain their redox balance. During fermentation, pyruvate is metabolized to various compounds. Homolactic fermentation is the production of lactic acid from pyruvate. Alcoholic fermentation is the conversion of pyruvate into ethanol and carbon dioxide. Heterolactic fermentation is the production of lactic acid in addition to other acids and alcohols. We will begin to look at the lactic acid fermentation and alcoholic fermentation. Lactic acid fermentation is the simplest type of fermentation. It can be defined as an anaerobic reaction by which glucose is converted into lactate. It occurs in some bacteria and animal cells, such as muscle cells, when oxygen is not present. If oxygen becomes present in the cell, many organisms will bypass fermentation and go through cellular respiration instead. In homolactic fermentation, one molecule of glucose is converted to two molecules of lactic acid. Heterolactic fermentation produces carbon dioxide and ethanol in addition to lactic acid. Fermentation happens in glycolysis. In our previous lessons, we learned after aerobic respiration, NADH is oxidized in the process of electron transport system. This means that electrons are taken away and NADH becomes NAD. This is done in the electron transport chain. In lactic acid fermentation, NADH donates its extra electrons to the pyruvate molecules formed during glycolysis. Since NADH has lost electrons, NAD regenerates and is again available for glycolysis. Lactic acid is formed by the reduction of pyruvate. Lactic fermentation is used as a method of obtaining energy 
in the form of ATP. Since the production of lactic acid frees up NAD, the process of glycolysis can continue. Lactic acid fermentation is also used in areas of the world to produce food that cannot be produced through other methods. One common application of lactic acid fermentation is the production of yogurt. Students, can you explain the differences between homolactic fermentation and heterolactic fermentation? Students, let's get ready. Begin. Time's up! Let's get back to our lesson. Hello again, everyone. The correct answer is that in homolactic fermentation, one molecule of glucose is converted to two molecules of lactic acid. Heterolactic fermentation produces carbon dioxide and ethanol in addition to lactic acid. I am sure you were all able to answer this correctly. Now let us continue the lesson by learning about alcoholic fermentation. Alcoholic fermentation is the process by which glucose is converted into cellular energy, producing ethanol and carbon dioxide. Alcoholic fermentation begins after glucose enters the cell. The glucose is broken down into pyruvic acid and energy. The pyruvic acid is converted into carbon dioxide and ethanol. These are carried by yeast cells. This type of fermentation is used in many cooking practices as well. 
Some examples include the making of bread, beer, and wine. Students, as a review, explain the two fermentation processes that we have just learned about. You may discuss your answers with your classmates. Students, let's get ready. Begin. Time's up! Let's get back to our lesson. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you had a chance to discuss our new knowledge thoroughly with your classmates. Both lactic and alcoholic fermentation begins with pyruvic acid and NADH. They are both anaerobic processes that convert glucose into cellular energy in the absence of oxygen. However, the products of the two types of fermentation are different. Lactic fermentation produces lactic acid and NAD while alcoholic fermentation produces ethanol, carbon dioxide, and NAD. We have reached the end of our lesson, students. In this lesson, we have learned about lactic acid fermentation and alcoholic fermentation. 
Until next time, thank you, teacher. Thank you, students.